Good afternoon. It's late on Saturday. Um, I haven't really, I don't want to say I haven't done much. I've been doing laundry. Um, I like to wash anything new that we get for Christmas. And the only, only person that got anything new was my son. <laughs> he got, um, I got him some uh, sheets and a new bedspread and pillowcases. And they have a steam train on them. So it's kind of, they're really nice looking. So I got those all washed, changed his whole bed out. Um, what else did I do? I, I still have to go down because the dryer just stopped just a little bit ago. And um, He put his suit pants in the wash from Christmas Eve. But he wants to wear them again tomorrow to church, his suit. So I'm like, all right, well, you put your pants in the wash. So now I have to wash them because I am a firm believer. If it's in the laundry, you don't take it out and and wear it because, I don't know, if it's in the laundry, it's got to get washed before you can wear them again. I'm the type of person that if I'm going to be getting rid of clothes, even socks, <laughs> they have to get washed before I will throw them away or give anything away. I don't know. I, I just feel better. Um... So, yesterday, uh, I, I'm feeling a little sad today, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, we had a really nice day yesterday. I mean, it was just us, you know, we didn't have anybody over, um, we didn't go anywhere, we got a lot of snow. We probably have about two feet of snow, but, like, where they record the snow is, like, the official, it, they, it, I think there are 18 inches at the airport, but the airport is much further west than my house. <laughs> and like everybody over here like got two feet, but where they officially recorded, they're saying 18 inches, but it's like, yeah, come to our house. <laughs> so, um, so the boys, well, I shouldn't say the boys. My son's like, I'm going to do it. He loves to snow blow. So he went out yesterday twice to snow blow. And then this morning he got up and he went out and he snow blowed again. And so we, it is still snowing now. It kind of started back up. Where I guess we're supposed to get one to three, maybe more yet. And then tomorrow it's going to be 40 here. <laughs> and this is why people are getting sick and, you know, having sinus issues because it goes from 16 to 40. Because it's only, when we got up this morning, it was like 12 degrees out. <laughs> so I don't know. It's kind of crazy how it works, but whatever. So, um, so yesterday the boys were downstairs working on the train layout and stuff because my son got a ton of stuff for his train layout and, um, <clears throat> so they were down there working. So I just sat upstairs. I got caught up on all these TV shows that I ha I didn't get to see and, um, it was really nice, but I, I do feel kind of sad today because I feel like we really miss everybody and, even though we don't have a lot of people like for Christmas and stuff, you still see everybody at some point in time, you know, and I just feel like we, 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 I know we won't see anybody and it's just, it's kind of sad. <laughs> we, we did zoom with his brother's family yesterday. Um, and you know, that was, we, we were on there for a while with them, but, um, I don't know, it's just, it, it wasn't the same. It was still nice. And I, you know, it was a beautiful day and, but, um, I don't know. You just, you feel a little empty about things. That's how I feel today. And I'm always sad when Christmas day is over. Cause I feel like this is one of the most times or days of the year I look forward to the most just to see my son unwrapping gifts and see him happy with stuff. And he, and this is why, because he does not ask for much. He never, he will save his money. And then when he wants to buy something, he'll buy it. But he does not ask us for much. He doesn't ask us to buy him stuff. He's, he's a very satisfied child. He doesn't, you know, like he will wear a pair of pants till they're cutting the circulation off of him everywhere before he'd even say, 
can we get a new pair of pants? Now, I buy him new clothes when he needs them and stuff. But, I mean, he never complains. Never. It, nothing. He's just, he's very, I just say he's a very satisfied child. So, and he doesn't require to have a lot of stuff. And, um, but, I mean, he loves his trains and stuff. So, that's, that's where he, he'll save his money and focuses on that. And, um, so, <sighs> It's just fun Christmas to see him getting, like, a lot of gifts and and that, so. And, you know, and his birthday. And I don't know if I told you yesterday, but he <laughs> he had asked everybody, because everyone asked him, what do you want for your birthday? So he told them, just just money, just money, just five or ten bucks. That's all I'm saving up for train stuff. Because he wanted to go to the, um, the Saturday after his birthday, he wanted to go to the train shop here in town it's closing so they've been having you know sales and so he just wanted some money some more money to go and get some things that he saw like a month ago there so nobody gave him money um i think my mom did my mom gave him money we gave him money but like my sister bought him something my his uh, my husband's brother their godparents to him they bought him something he's like well i didn't get the money i asked for <laughs> So I kind of felt bad for him because he doesn't ever ask for anything, <laughs> but everybody asked him and he said money. And I feel like, like when, when my sister's kids and my brother-in-law's kids and stuff turned, you know, like 13, 14, it was like, I don't know what to buy them. I, money. I just, I started giving them money as soon as they turned teenagers because that's all they really, then they can get their own thing, you know? So he was kind of bummed about it. So I had put 50 bucks in his stocking for from us to him at Christmas time. So, um, so anyway, I was telling you, so that's why I just, I love Christmas and stuff. Cause it's just, it's just always been one of my favorite days, my favorite time of the year. And it just, it, it's over so quickly. Now I will tell you though, it's, it's really not over for us because we celebrate till, um, I think, is it the Feast of the Three Kings? I forget what the actual day is called. But we celebrate till January 6th, which will be the 12th day of Christmas. Because, I don't know if people know this or not, but the 12 days of Christmas started yesterday. So today, Saturday, is the second day of Christmas. So, um, <clears throat> so our Christmas tree was, and decorations, I was talking to my husband about this this morning. I said, I, I plan on leaving it up until the weekend after um, is it called Little Christmas? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, let's see. They go back next Monday the 4th. So I said, I plan on leaving it up till that Saturday, which is, I have like 20 million calendars right in front of me. I could probably look. Um, I want to say it's like the 9th. Yeah. I said, we'll start taking everything down the 9th. Um, the only, the only exception would be if we got nice weather and it's warmer outside, then I'll have them take the outside stuff down before. But as far as like the tree and the inside, we keep it up till the 6th. But like I said, I, I told him, I said, I might after that day start taking some things down. But um, the, the, our major takedown will be Saturday, January 9th. And uh, I said, we'll take things down and start putting it away. But... So I feel like we still have two weeks yet today, from today, to have our stuff up. And um, we only have it up so long during the year, you know. And I love to enjoy it. And my husband got me this tree. And I said, I, I know exactly where it's going. It's going in our bedroom. Because I've always wanted to have a tree in our bedroom. But we'd either need something small or something thin. And when he found this little tree like tabletop one I'm like that'll go perfect in our little corner in our bedroom and then he got me another one well if it's perfect in the dining room I'm not sure if that's where I'll keep it next year because if we go back to being able to have people over um my, I won't have room for it in there because we have we have a lot of people over so um but I'll find somewhere for it don't worry <laughs> and um so I was kind of happy about that um, it came with its own ornaments and stuff, and I'm fine with that because, um, we have all our main ornaments, everything we love, we put on our tree in our living room. So, um, cause I don't have a big house. I don't have 
like a sitting room and a living room or a great room or anything like that. We have a dining room, kitchen, living room, um, two bedrooms and a bathroom on this floor. And then upstairs is like, it could be two bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, right now it's just my craft room and storage and a bathroom. So, and then the basement's wide open. So the boys, that's their area. I just have my little laundry area in the corner. So, um, but anyway, what else? I'll tell you what I'm going to have on my menu. I'm going to try and take it easy again this week. Another, you know, easy meals. Um, we're, so tonight I felt like French toast this morning. I have not made French toast and I can't even tell you how long, but I said to my son, Hey, would you want some French toast? Now he claims he's never had it. I, I'm sure I've made it for him before, but he went, he goes, well, let me go out and snow blow and then I'll be ready to come in and have breakfast. So I said, okay. So he went out and snow blowed and then I made French toast for us this morning. My husband got called into work. He was gone for five hours today. It's the second time now he's been called in. So, um, we had French toast and we didn't have it till like 11 o'clock. So that was kind of our breakfast and lunch. Um, we are just having leftovers tonight. We have leftover sausage and ham. And then I made my, uh, spiral dish, um, with the spiral noodles, the broccoli, the bacon, the garlic. I've made it for on here before. So, um, so tomorrow, whatever we don't finish tonight, ham and sausage wise and, and stuff, we'll have tomorrow. I want to be done with that food and have it out of here. Now, the plate I served our ham on yesterday totally cracked. It was like, it was a really thick glass serving platter. And for some reason, it just cracked in like three pieces. I was like, oh my God. So that went out in the garbage last night. So tomorrow we'll just finish up whatever Christmas food we have left from our dinner, which wasn't much. We, we really scaled back on the food this year and I didn't miss not having a ton of food. So that was kind of nice. Um, so tomorrow that'll be leftovers. Um, Monday, I thought I would just fix a pot, a small pot of chili. And then Tuesday, we're going to get lunch, not lunch, get dinner. We're going to do takeout. Um, we have a gift card to a place called New York lunch. It's all Greek food, like Greek hot dogs, Greek burgers, Greek fries. I said to my husband, I want to use that gift card up because Roman and I are hitting it heavy and I want, I, I don't want to be, you know, we're going to try and really, really be good, especially about not going out to eat, which we've been phenomenal about that. First of all, we're, we are not big on going out and sitting in a restaurant eating anyway. Um, our thing about going out and eating is we just get like something from the pizzeria down the block. So we're going to be really good about doing, you know, eating really good um so that's tuesday we're just gonna get takeout wednesday i'm just gonna have plain old hot dogs um i have a bag of fries maybe i'll do hot dogs and french fries we'll see um they're just frozen french fries they're like um there's not nothing on them and i just bake them thursday which is new year's eve I, i'm gonna ask my son and husband i don't know if they want uh, if they want to do wings or um just snacks we, we will go to mass at five o'clock. I think it's five o'clock on New Year's Eve. Um, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve and Easter vigil. That's, that's our big, you know, night before masses. Usually other than that, it's, it's Sunday mass. So I'll see if they want wings that night. Cause I, I do have a bag of wings in the freezer, but then I know we have snacks. I got some chips some pretzels, some dips. I would like to do a charcuterie board with salami, pepperoni, and some cheese and crackers. I'm also going to do a veggie tray, a little veggie tray. So we probably won't have the wings. We'll probably save those for another time, but we'll just have snacks all night. And we usually sit around and play games and try like, <laughs> me and Roman try like hard to stay up till midnight. Usually Ray has to wake us up. <laughs> um, and then uh, New Year's Day, we will have uh, pork and our homemade sauerkraut. And then I make, they're called spetzels, but my dad called them niflas. And it's just, you know, the flour egg noodle that you um, actually have a spetzel thing where you put the dough in and then you 
you run it across and it drops little pieces in and it boils. It's just a noodle, kind of like a heavy noodle. Then you fry it in like a little bit of butter and some like seasoning salt. So we will have that for dinner on Friday and then Saturday we'll just have leftovers of that. And then I'm hoping like Sunday we'll finish up whatever food we had left and start fresh. Um, we'll start for, I realize I marked this. No, I'm right. So Sunday, I'm hoping we can finish whatever up and we're going to start fresh getting back to our, our Weight Watcher meals and um, tracking everything and drinking our water. My son has been drinking water. He's been doing really good with that. And he's trying to get himself into a, a good routine, you know. So, and then next Sunday, not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, I'll make soup for the week for my son. I took a break these past two weeks because he's, you know, not really in school, but I'll make his soup again. And I don't know what kind I'm gonna make it. I do have some frozen little meatballs for wedding soup. So if I wanna make that, I can. Um, I'm just not sure yet, we'll see. And then I, I don't have to go to the store this week because um, I just, I, I have everything. I do want to hit the meat market and they're only open Tuesday, Wednesday and part of the day Thursday. So I do want to, I, I don't know. So, cause I, I don't want to buy lunch meat because it won't be good for the following week. Um, I'll get some salami that'll hold, but nothing else will really hold. So, um, I am going to probably do a small Walmart pickup, but it won't be until like either next Saturday or Sunday. I just, I'm going to get some eggs, some tuna and some canned chicken and some hot dogs because um, I'll pick up the hot dogs actually at the meat market, but I, I'll get like the canned chicken and stuff. And I figure I'll just make chicken salad sandwiches and tuna sandwiches and uh, egg salad sandwich <laughs> for the next two weeks. Cause usually the meat market will be closed the first two weeks in January. So for two weeks, I'll have to be creative with the lunch. Um, sandwiches now they have spam downstairs they love spam so i'll do some spam um i could probably do peanut butter and jelly too that would be fine so um so that's about it that's how our week's gonna go hopefully it's going to be a quiet week we have nowhere to go the boys will probably just go train watching tomorrow um but I, I have nowhere to go, nothing to do. I was actually looking online today because I've, I've always wanted a Christmas bedspread for our bed. And I've always wanted a Christmas um, shower curtain and a little, uh, and a Christmassy rug for my bathroom. Because I decorate everything except that. And then I, I'm like, I, you know, we, we don't really decorate our bedroom much with Christmas, but I'm like, if we had a bedspread, that would look so nice. I know my son wouldn't want one, so I'm not going to bother, but he's got a ton of Christmas decorations in his room. So, um, so I looked online today to see if anybody had any good sales on any of them. And gosh, some of those shower curtains are like $50. I'm not paying that for a Christmassy shower curtain. So if anybody knows where to look, I looked on Amazon, I looked on Kohl's, I looked at LTD, um, and I just did not find anything. I, I would like like snowmen or something like that. So I don't know. And then as far as a bedspread, I really don't care as long as it's cute and Christmassy, you know? So anyway, I'm going to be looking around the next few weeks, see if anybody actually comes up with any sales on anything. And what else? Um, I think that's about it. Um, I'm just going to work in my planner a little bit and start marking my calendar for next year. It's one of my favorite things to do is mark in my calendar and start making like some plans of when, what is going to happen when. Praying to God we can get back to some sort of normalcy next year at some point in time. Um, but I don't mind staying home. I'm very happy being home. So so that's it. I'm going to do some more desk work here for a little bit. And I will have to go to the bank this week because our a couple fundraisers we have going on right now, we've been getting some checks and stuff in. I want to get them in the bank um, this week. So I'll probably do that. 
So I'll probably be back tomorrow. I won't be, it'll, this whole week will just be what I'm doing. It won't be what I'm eating because I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just kind of up in the air about what I'm having for breakfast and lunch. Today I really just had brunch. I didn't have any. Um, so just need, feel like once this week is done, things can go back to normal schedule um, I, I, although I love, love, love this time, um, but I know you do look forward to getting back to like, back into routine and cause, uh, my son and I have such a good routine here with him being in school and me being home. And, um, I just feel like we, we have such a good routine going. So, well, it'll be nice to, you know, get back to that and stuff. So. That's about it. So I will see you all probably tomorrow because um, I have like not much planned this whole next week. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening.